You must have noticed that Apple products are becoming more and more famous all over the world. But how has the company managed to achieve this? It is a result of their marketing strategies. Steve Jobs and Stephen Wozniak started Apple Incorporated in 1976. Back then, it was called Apple Computers Incorporated. The company began by making personal computers. Since then, they have made a lot of changes in the market, making them one of the most creative firms in the field. The company now sells personal computers, cell phones, TVs, and tablets. Apple's Marketing Mix For a more simplified explanation of Apple's success, here's a look at the company's general marketing mix. Product Apple has a lot of products, and they all work together as a system. They are designed based on a lot of study about what customers want, which keeps customer loyalty high. Here are a few of Apple's primary product lines. Macintosh, Mac, MacBook Air Pro. Apple Software, iTunes, MacOS, iCloud, iPod, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Apple TV, Price. The following price strategies are used by the brand. Premium Pricing Strategies Freemium Pricing Strategy The tactic of selling goods at a higher price than usual is called premium pricing. By charging more for their goods than their competitors, Apple gives the impression of luxury and high status. One example is that iPhones cost more than Samsung tablets. The brand uses high prices to go along with its high-quality logos and unique ideas. The company also uses a price approach called freemium, which is a mix of free and premium pricing. Some Apple goods are free, but to get better benefits, people have to pay. For example, the brand gives 5 gigabytes of iCloud storage for free, but users have to pay an additional fee if they want more storage. Place Apple chooses the right places or venues for the company to sell its goods. Apple's business plan includes both company-owned sites and other places that let the company promote its goods. Apple's marketing plan includes the following places. Apple store locations. Company-owned website and online stores. Authorized sellers. Telecommunications companies. Promotion. Apple promotes its different product lines with a mix of print ads and TV commercials. They also depend a lot on their annual keynote speeches, where the company tells the public about new goods and improvements. What are the marketing techniques used by Apple? Apple uses many different ways to sell its products. Some of the most important ones are Mystery around products Apple doesn't reveal much about the details and features of its new products. This way, people get excited about the product. This is one of the best marketing tactics used by Apple. Keep your branding consistent. When you see an ad for Apple, you know who they are even before you see their logo. Branding has that kind of power. Visual identity is a key part of growing and spreading a brand's awareness, and Apple's consistency in how they've branded themselves has helped them become a famous brand. If you don't have a strong visual identity, now is the time to invest in just that. Here are some ways to do this. Expand your design team. Create a comprehensive brand style guide. Build up a review process to make sure your image stays the same. By being consistent, it's easy to get people interested in your goods and over time, people will start to recognize your brand more and more. Help your customers share your values. People feel like their choice of Apple goods says something about who they are and what they value in technology. It plays on people's desire to be a part of something bigger than themselves, and Apple's marketing ad has presented the company as worthy to support. When you make it clear what you stand for and what you value, customers won't mind paying a little more to support those values. Apple has done well in this field by positioning itself as a brand that brings a better future. You can do the same for your business. An easy way to get started is to build out your About Us page with company values or high-level missions. Once you have this information, it's easy to share it with other departments and make these ideals a big part of everything you do. By sharing your values, you will make it easy for customers to feel like your products help them express their own values, and you'll get a group of loyal customers in the process. Creating an experience Apple cares a lot about the customer experience and puts a lot of value on it. 
The brand wants its customers to have a good and memorable shopping experience with them. They make sure that all customer interactions such as online and retail stores, the ads, and the products themselves feel like an experience for the customer. Keeping it simple. Apple makes it easy to buy and sell its products. In their ads, they use simple words that most people can understand. The styles and specs of the products are easy to understand and don't confuse the customers. Even though they use simple words, they do a good job of explaining what the products do and how they can make your life easier. Talk to the audience in their language. After explaining what their products do in a simple way, they share the features in a more detailed version. In fact, each product page on the Apple site includes this information. However, they put it below the fold. Customers who visit Apple's website must first scroll past beautiful photos of the products and simple text that explains what they do. Apple avoids using difficult words like gigahertz or megabytes on their products. Instead, they choose words that are easy to understand, like Laydeek backlighting, retina display, and edge-to-edge -edge glass. The company knows a lot about its customers, which has made them more loyal and increased their market share. They know how to communicate with them in a way that makes them feel comfortable. The products themselves show how they fit into the lives of customers. For example, the iPhone is more than just a smartphone. It lets you bring the power of an Apple computer to your phone. The iMac is more than just a computer. It also makes your computer time fun and easy. The iPod is more than just a music player and recording device. It also lets you carry music in your pocket. Customer Retention Instead of attracting new customers by offering discounts, Apple focuses on keeping existing loyal customers by providing them with amazing customer service. When a person gives bad feedback, customer service gets back to them within 24 hours. Create a community of customers. Apple has one of the most loyal groups of fans of any company. They have built a brand and community that are fun, cool, and helpful. Apple's marketing techniques also make people want to be a part of that group. Do you remember the Apple ad campaign, Think Different? At the beginning of the ad, a speaker said, here's to the crazy ones. The misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers. We've all been in this situation, right? Apple used that sense in a smart way, which made customers think that the brand knows them well. Small brands can also build up a group of loyal customers or users. Even before you sell your first item, you can start to build a group. Think globally, act locally. Let's say you're in Milan, Macau, Brussels, or Beijing. In that case, the iPhone's appealing design, simplicity, and easy usage will attract people from all over the world. It will also introduce the Apple experience with features that are important to customers where they live. For instance, one Apple store in Paris is located in a Haussmann-style building to demonstrate how they value Parisian architecture. Even though Apple doesn't own the red core, the company in China has made red packaging promotions during Chinese New Year to better connect with the market. Using these kinds of marketing and product activities has helped Apple keep its brand identity. The NPS Index Apple uses the Net Promoter Score, NPS which measures how likely customers are to tell their friends and family about a company's goods and services. This way, salespersons do not upsell or cross-sell to customers that are not interested in buying other products. This keeps customers from getting angry and upset and leaving the store. Now I have a question for you. What marketing techniques does Apple use to connect with its customers? Write your answer in the comment of the video. Apple Marketing Objectives what are some of Apple's marketing objectives? Even though the company has a lot of business goals, these are the most important ones. Focusing on values. Having a significant effect on customers. Understanding the target market. Let's take a closer look at each goal and see how it fits into Apple's marketing plan. Focus on value. Apple focuses on their unique value proposition, UVP. Apple isn't afraid to charge what its goods are worth. They tell people what makes their goods unique, how they make their customers' lives better, and how much they cost. Loyal buyers know what they're getting and are happy to pay for it. Captivating visuals. Apple uses very appealing images. More information can be shared with pictures than with words. 
visuals stick with customers longer and make it easier for them to remember the goods. Understanding the target market. The company knows what its customers want and makes sure that all of its new goods meet those needs. By giving people what they want, Apple is able to keep their loyalty. Direct marketing is an important part of Apple's business plan. This is how you market goods or services directly to the people. The company has invested and worked with companies to improve its direct marketing strategies and advertising. The company's main goal is to get in touch with customers through email and tell them about new goods. Apple's marketing strategy is important because it has helped the company become one of the most famous and valuable brands. It is also very different from the marketing strategies of Apple's competitors. They've been able to get a lot of customers who have been loyal to the company for years. They showed that making new products is important and that they care a lot about how happy their customers are. Even though Apple Incorporated goods are expensive, they are becoming more and more popular because of how well they work and how innovative they are. Knowing what the brand is for and staying true to its vision and ideals has helped the company connect to its customers better.